and then just hit launch, and the drone starts doing the work for you. Drones are nothing new, but what the Pearland Police Department is doing with them is unlike anything we've seen before. With the click of a button, they can deploy autonomous drones to crashes and crime scenes. And only KPRC2 News reporter Gage Golding is getting an up-close look at how the program is keeping your family safe and the impact it has made in response to the Texas Hill Country flood. So this is a thermal reconstruction of a, a section of the river there in Kerrville. It's just part of the more than 44,000 pictures the Pearland drone team took in the hill country, each looking for the two people who remain missing after the 4th of July flood. That includes Camp Mr. Camper, Sil Stewart. The technology they're using out there is revolutionary. And what that software does is it takes the pixels from these thermal images and looks for differences in the heat signature. I mean, those were the off gases from decomposition. Officer Ubri and his fellow drone pilots have never tried this before, but it worked. The first day we were there, one of the images captured from one of the teams got a, a good alert and they dug up a uh, deer carcass that had been buried from the storm. I found this story scrolling on social media and I sat there thinking to myself, wow, this is really interesting. So I dialed up the folks over at Pearland PD and I quickly learned that this is just the beginning. You see, they have drones all around the city that they can launch from anywhere and fly 100% autonomously. We don't have to have somebody right then and there. It's something they needed a special waiver from the FAA to do. They were the first police department in the country to get this back in 2023. Now they're flying to scenes in just over two minutes. That's up to three times quicker than officers on the ground. This we can get about 80% of uh, the calls that come in for our city. There could be a time where you're getting maybe one call an hour, and I've also been as busy where I'm getting the call every 15 minutes. So. Their drones are pre-positioned in different parts of the city. They have three of them. This one, for example, is on top of the Public Works building. And that's all automated. That's all automated. They can't take over manually, flying the drones from computers in their cruisers or in the real-time crime center using, believe it or not, we have a PlayStation controller that works just fine. You fly your police drone with a PlayStation controller. Fly this one with a PlayStation controller. It's why police departments around the country and the world have come to see their program in action. Our most recent visitors were from the Western Australia. It's to see how they too can help solve crimes quicker and make their community safer with these autonomous eyes in the sky. In Pearland, Gage Golding, KPRC2 News.